All right, so this I this is the this this is the most thiefy part of the level where it's all stealth. No fun, sexy jumping. A lot of sexy jumping. I don't know why we're doing that. All right, where's the guy that's usually here? There's like two of them. At least there was in my playthrough. There, I thought there was only one. No, that I accidentally knocked that against <laughs> my glass. <laughs> you think that hurts? Why didn't I? Hello. Wait. Yeah, there's two of them. Throw him. Throw him. Throw. <laughs> throw the guy you're holding. What the fuck? <laughs> they they trip sometimes. <laughs> he murdered his friend and then freaked out and tripped. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'm the best at stealth, as we all know. Oh, uh, where's the button for this? Right, no, behind you. You just passed it. Uh, it's on the left side of the, of the door. Uh, if you look at the door, oh, there it's it on is. the left side. And the, yeah. Let's see what Duke of Bell keeps hidden away in here. So, I like this map because it implies they have other worlds planned if they ever get to make a sequel. I don't know if they will. I would like to think they would. But... This is also sort of the equivalent of the same room that we have on the the dreadful whale. Yeah. Oh, well, they like have the... a planning room too. Yeah. Rune or bone charm nearby. So I take it there's a mission after this one. Yes. Yep. This is the final. This is the penultimate mission. The pent ultimate. Pentel penultimate. Oh, come on. Words is hard, Josh. Um, use grenades or whatever the traps, mines. Yeah, I was gonna use. Uh, yeah. It's the easiest way. This is like the one I think you have to kill. This is the thing Ashworth made to hold Delilah's spirit. A Horcrux. Sweet. And now for the mm, not as good bits. So we're gonna take mom and rip her soul out of the heart and put her sister's soul in it instead. And again, this is the same conversation you get whether you're Corvo or. Not. Mother. Yeah. Honor you. Always. Well, unfortunately, the voice actress was too busy doing Guild Wars 2 voices, and she couldn't be here for more than one script. I carry. Is that really what happens? No, I mean, but she is the <laughs> human female voice for Guild Wars 2. Uh. So. It's really Fun weird fact. because it's like, Sounds oh, my good. player character is Emily's mom. Is the heart of my half sister only her flesh remains. Who voices Delilah? Maybe Delilah's spirit was holding it together. Hmm. I don't. Oh yeah, uh, well now all the, uh, oh, I changed the heart into a different item, so now I have to rebind it. Now all the heart, uh, dialogue is different. And Delilah Copperspoon is voiced by Aaron Cottrell, who is, uh, plays a role on Kim NCIS Cattrall's of some sister? description. Potentially? Related to Kim Cottrell? I have no idea. No, it's Cottrell. Oh. Oh. Why did I extinguish those candles? Off the top of my head, I don't see any, like, immediate standout roles uh, that listeners recognize. She's Korra from Kingdom Hearts. Ooh. Oh, there you go. 
Is there a... Oh. Was there a bone charm down here that we missed? Oh, there was. Speaking of MMOs uh, that you don't hear about anymore, she plays two of the default female voices in Wildstar. Ooh. You guys remember Wildstar? I do. Isn't isn't that a Wild West uh, cartoon in the 80s for kids? Uh, it is a fantasy sci-fi western oh, MMO. Right. There was a third way in here. It was all about base building, which was interesting considering what's been happening with Fortnite. Could that could have been something, you know? That base combat. Yeah. It went free to play in 2015 and the PvP servers closed what? in 2016. Oh no! Oh, Wait, what? what did I just do? You broke the game, Josh. Way to go. Yes! So I've had this happen. There's no way back into the geometry as far as I'm aware. Yeah, Camster already did it. He doesn't need to see this again. Too cool for school. Where are we? You're outside the geometry. The upside down. The void. <laughs> oh, no. The, the problem is collision applies both to the opposite sides of geometry as well as the side you're in, so you'd literally have to yeah. glitch your way back into the map as well. This actually sounds like an amazing premise for like a sci-fi, uh, like a, a horror sci-fi story, uh, like where somebody is in some kind of VR game uh, uh -oh. and they accidentally get trapped outside the geometry and can't have to like watch their families' lives continue within the game, uh, within the simulated world, unable to actually re-enter it or figure out how they left it. It'd have to be like a, a, a Soma-type situation where they're actually unable to leave the simulation. And all the while, that void beckons. All they have to do is jump and fall forever into nothingness, or slip off at the wrong moment. Oh man. Just reload. We're never gonna glitch Wait. back into space. Wait. Am I- did I make it? No! But I almost- I can see it! That does not deny the premises that Chris established for the failure of the level geometry. Oh my god. I've never it's done in fact that. It's part and parcel of the conditions. Somewhere in my Twitter media feed, there is a video of me doing that exact same thing on the, f on the <laughs> first level in Sarkonis. I want this rune, damn it. And then we should probably leave through this way, because it's the least likely to run us into people. I don't want to... I want to... No. I literally just did it again. <laughs> you suck so much. Oh you my suck god. So There's much, a little... John. I can almost okay. pull it. You have bullets. Just use your gun thing. What do you mean? Can't you I'm shoot underwater? I ruined your stealth run a long time ago. To take out your gun. You can shoot underwater with a fucking well, don't you have black the, the non pistol? Or but you also have the the physical bow and arrows, right? The non non sleepy dark kind. I'm trying to pull the rune. I feel like you're just gonna do it again, and then people are gonna. Then we're gonna have to start making some serious edits. I got it. Oh my god. Okay. Now how do we get out of here? Are you going to do it again? Okay, as it turns out, there's no way out of here. You don't say. I set an alarm. Um... You gotta go to the beach. You're going to- don't kill the- your friends! They're your little furry friend They're people. gonna eat corpses! Uh, but you can talk- oh wait, no, I'm thinking of Billy Lurk. Never mind, kill him. Um... <laughs> what? 
Billy Lurk can talk to the. What are you talking about? Billy Lurk can talk. That's one of her powers in uh, not Knife of Dunwall, but um, the other DLC, uh, Death of the Outsider. What? Billy Lurk can talk to rats. Um, yeah. Which is kind of frustrating because the 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 rat speak is almost incomprehensible because it's like squeaky on top of being all distorted and ghostly. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Oh, it's no divinity. I can tell you that. Out. Like my mice with a British accent from the commons. <laughs> Why is there a planet Hollywood here? Oh, God damn shit. It, Josh. Why is there planet Hollywood God anywhere? It, Josh. We'll get right down to it. <laughs> yeah, but like, I swear, the Duke has his own planet Hollywood. Me. Do we have to get the rune again? No. No, we're right here, see? We're fine. I'm actually thinking planetarium, personally. I mean, that's the vault we were just in, so... Do they still have Planet right. Hollywoods? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a Planet Hollywood that's designed to look like a planetarium at, a uh, At Disney Springs or Downtown Disney. Isn't there one oh. in, um, Myrtle Beach area, too? I'm sure there is. So now we gotta wait for See, the thing is, boat to show up. I just I realized that I haven't seen one since actually moving to California, and I was wondering if that's because they all went out of business, which seemed plausible, or because they don't have any in the actual Hollywood area, which would seem plausible until you forget that nobody likes Hollywood like Hollywood likes hey, Hollywood. Hey, Megan. So, is that it? The fall of Karnaka. From now on, the Duke will be <laughs> the boat's, by the bottle's floating. Back to the dreadful whale. That's what bottles do. And on toward Dunwall. Yes, at long last, to take back the throne. I'm actually impressed it's floating with the uh, the geometry. Ready, then? Yeah. Of the bobbing Let's water. All right, as you want. Why does my view keep looking up? I hey, I didn't kill that guy. I was knocking him out, and his friend was like, "Fuck you! I'm gonna stab my buddy." And then he I got really you, freaked out that he did dudes. that. I said there are two dudes, and you're like, I think it's just it one. And you grabbed him, and it's... <laughs> you definitely uh... killed... And the bathtub guy. They gave you a freebie on that one. I was just yeah, maybe they're only counting nice bathroom guy. Day. You killed oh. Nipley McChafes. I grew up with this Alternately, maybe guy. Private Nipley McChafe was the a witch. The colors and the way the light falls. Uh, hey, it's, it's Dishonored me. One's first level. But it's not. Have I changed? Classic. Or does everything just look different when you're not wearing a crown? Whatever grand scheme well, you underway now, Delilah. I mean, as you're about you to find out, Emily, there was a great big war me. in the center of Dunwall, and now it's, like, been taken over by witches, and everything's kind of just my fucked. Ally. My father. But you didn't know me. You only saw a sheltered Don Corvo. Yeah, we've gotten a lot of sad dad video games. I feel like we need more sad daughter video games. But you will. Sad daughter, mad dad. Let's do dad. Ellie from the left for or from left for dead from the Last of Us. Aren't they doing make that? Make her the perspective character in Last of Us Two. I don't know. I want to see a game. We didn't get any where... information about it on at E3. No, we got a trailer, but it didn't see... have any of the main characters. I want to see a sad dad from one grim, violent franchise and a sad dad from another grim, violent franchise in the same piece of media where they're each inexplicably treating the other sad dad as if they were their precocious daughter. Uh, who would you pair? Uh, Logan and Joel. I feel like, yeah. 
I, I feel like having Corvo in there to be the most boring person ever would be this really fun too. Hey, such a background. Taking the portrait Patrick is Lee finished. Everett and uh, and uh, what's his name? Is Lee Everett? Uh, really a, I mean, he is a sad dad, but he's not. Okay, Kenny. You know, Kenny. <laughs> yes. You well, not that Kenny. anymore. <laughs> Kenny and uh. It's my hope uh, have some sort of plan. The dude it from tricky. She might the not give big any choice God of War. Fight. And Delilah deserves what Kratos. 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 I, I can't remember every the stupid video game character's name. The dude from Big God of War. As I told you, I knew her long ago. Badly wounded. Deep at her I was going to call him Gary, but I knew that wasn't right. Looking for a way <laughs> that, pa that, that paintbrush is meticulously <laughs> balanced, I'll say that. He's voiced by Teal'c now. Christopher Judge. Only that could have been channeled uh, something less twisted. Anton? It's probably too late to dwell on regrets. No. Yes, you're right. No, Kratos In is voiced case, by oh. Christopher Judge. Watch yourself. Teal'c from Stargate. Care a great deal about you. The big dude Goodbye. with the golden Anton. tattoo on his head. He lost me a long time ago. I don't, want, I don't watch Star Trek. Alright, well, I guess we'll just cancel spoiler warning now forever. <laughs> I know who you're talking about, Josh. I know. Josh is just going to make spoiler warning a Star Trek show. Because, you know, we Believe need another not. one of those. It's, it's... Shuffle Why is this unbound again? Oh, because I died. That's why. Uh -huh. I wonder... What do you have to say about Sokolov? Oh, do you not talk about things? Like, that I look at anymore? Yeah. I need Megan's... Cabin key, and I know you can get it because I remember I've so, gotten in there before. So that right there, what what we just got out of the Delilah was a big hint towards something I think we've already revealed multiple times, and that the, the game doesn't do a great job of hiding. Talking about the six people what? that came to grab uh, grab uh, Jessamine, and how two of them are still alive. The implication being Dowd and. A certain other person. Isn't the it's, it's right here? there. The, the the note is right there. Right. Yes. The note. Um. um. Anyway. So hey, the what, what's this letter to Billy Lurk doing on Megan, Megan Foster's, Foster's boat? Bedside. I wonder what Delilah's I'm just on a boat. She must be aware that things have changed in Karnaka. Cool. So I got the cabin key. And then we can go down here and get it explicitly confirmed. Have we talked about the dreadful whale's name yet? I feel like we did, but it's been so long I don't remember if we did. I think we can recap. Well, the Dreadful Whale is named and spelled weirdly hey, because it is Dowd. an anagram for Farewell Dowd. Uh, it is it is no Billy Lurk sort of like... I believe it's she believes he's dead. Uh, I'm stabbed. No one except the outsider who watches everything and thinks his own dark thoughts and speaks to few in any generation. So Dowd is explicitly confirmed as alive in this game and then shows up in yeah. the next one. Which is yes. a bigger deal when this game came out and nobody knew if Dad was still alive. In ways we can't always fathom. The consequences come back to us. It also means that canonically, um, Corvo is a good guy. Made my living as a killer. I mean, like, it's always been like that. I murdered an empress. Well, how, how else could you... You don't know that. Because... I mean, like, it's... The, the bad I guess of, you could... 
There are two separate yeah. ways the players can choose whether Dow dies. In Dishonored 1, they literally choose by playing as as Corvo, and in, and in Knife of Dunwall, they choose by having it either be a high chaos or low chaos run for Dow that makes Corvo choose whether to be bad or good. Yeah. So, like, the third game comes along, and you're like, okay, is he dead or not? I've both saved and killed him four but, like, times now. But, like, Dishonored 2 starts with the assumption that, like, Corvo is basically good. Everyone's full of secrets. Why do well, I you can't. Like it's hard to carry the story if he isn't, though, yeah. isn't it? Like, where do you go from right. there? Well, you do the crappy Deus Ex thing of saying all endings happened and all the badness and all the goodness both happened, and that's terrible. Oh, right, yeah. We got paid to kill people. Some who I guess, yeah. Some who didn't. Oh, oh, we also haven't really pointed this out, but she has both of her arms now. Nothing. No, I pointed that out. We last pointed that out. Did last we? Time. Okay. Yeah. Again, it's been a while. I feel like you didn't realize it at first, then I pointed it out, and you're like, "Oh." Well, I know the time travel fixes things. I just can't remember what it fixed. You helped Dowd kill my mother. Anyway, so uh, yes. Megan Foster, or rather I Billy Lurk, is say. coming clean with us now. I've lived a very long time wishing I could take that day back, but I can't. Also, canonically, do you uh, not do this? Because... I mean, she reveals it to you regardless of whether or not the, the time was fixed. No, no, so no, do we but, forgive but, her or not? Forgive her. But, but my point is more like, canonically, in Knife of Dunwall, or not, I keep calling Knife of Dunwall, in uh, Death of the Outsider, Billy Lurk is missing an arm and an eye, and she gets all these magical replacements. So apparently, like, I haven't played it, but um, not all of us did other people have talked about it, saying that, like, she starts out with both arms, and then weird time displacement happens, and she becomes aware of the time shenanigans. Goodbye, Billy. I don't remember that, but... I'll go alone from here. Can you kill Megan Foster, actually? I'm, I'm vaguely curious about this now. Oh, you oh. can't have him. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, wow. no, what? Oh, no! Um, alright. I like that they added audio recorded ready to go for that one. Why did she fall through the wall? <laughs>